peace and all good things. At the beginning of July, we celebrate the 4th of July. We celebrate all those people who throughout history have given up their lives for what they believe in, and in a particular way, for our country of the United States. All the way back almost two and a half centuries ago, when those first colonists stood up that all people were equal, that uh, democracy and freedom was something to really fight for, and even in the face of oppression, in the face of danger, and in times of uncertainty, if they will actually succeed, they stood up for what they believed in, they had faith, and they had hope that what they were doing was the right thing to do, and that God would ultimately protect them. I think that's a very similar thing to what we are called to do today as Christians. I think that sometimes uh, we can be uh, convenient Christians. When it's convenient for us, when it's easy, when those around us agree with what we are saying, or when what we are saying uh, is not going to get us in trouble, not going to, if you will, cause a divide between uh, ourselves and someone else, then we're okay to uh, preach the gospel, to live as a Christian, and to do what we are supposed to do. But as soon as sometimes... Uh, this may cause division among us. It may challenge some other people. Other people may disagree with us. Or it may not be convenient for our lives. A certain part of the gospel we may disagree with. Sometimes uh, we can become uh, a little less fervorous to live out that gospel and to preach and to live uh, what we are called to do. And yet, Today, we know that we are supposed to be prophets. We are baptized priest, prophet, and king. And just imagine if those uh, colonists uh, almost two centuries ago didn't stand up for what they believed in. What would happen? We wouldn't be sitting here today. And the same thing with so many Christians throughout history. If they did not stand true to the faith, and sometimes in the face of danger or uneasiness or discomfort, then this gospel church would not be so uh, alive as it is today that we really stand on the shoulders of the martyrs and the saints who have continued to preach this gospel throughout the centuries under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So today, what are those parts of our lives? Where are we being called to go? Where maybe it's a little bit uncomfortable to preach the gospel, to live as a Christian? What are those aspects of the gospel that we may find inconvenient for us, and yet we're called to live this day? Let us do great things, stand up for what we believe in, and truly live as disciples of the gospel. God bless you.